Hello, welcome back to 100K You Should. This is Phil, and today we got Gigabyte Tegra Note 7. So Tegra Note, as the name implies, has the Tegra 4 processor built in inside right there. And um, it's also got a pen. Let's get back to that later. And um, this cover thingy turns it on when it's open and turns it off when it's closed. And this is what all the smart cover kind of likely thing is do. And you can also do the stand up like this and um, you know, smart covers. And um, initially it comes with the dummy plastic filled in right here and you can slide in your this cover thingy to use it as a smart cover. Enough with the cover, it comes with the seven inch 720p HD display and the front facing camera and the list of sensors and the stereo speaker that Nvidia claims that they have like special audio effects built in. And um, there's a micro SD card slot on the right and the volume rocker. And uh, on the top is a power key with the micro uh, HDMI port, micro USB port, and the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Micro HDMI port is a very welcome feature, and um, we're glad to see that. And um, there's a five megapixel camera on the back that has the always on HDR feature that you don't have to choose to take a photo in the HDR mode. It takes uh, HDR photos all the time. And um, that's pretty much it, that's pretty much it. And there's a pen right here, and um, we'll get to that in the software features. Alrighty. Uh, I do have to mention about the design, uh, of course, is that um, this kind of re resembles of the graphic card sorts, and um, this is, in my perspective, I, I do like rugged things, but this is nowhere near beautiful or cool or any sorts of positive uh, design language. And overall, the plastic uh, finishes are nowhere near good. Uh, it's not even near the the Google's Nexus 7. I, I think that's the most likely of the um, uh, comparative tablet, but um, it's nowhere near that. And turning the tablet on, it has the Google's Android 4.3. When you initially get the tablet, it will update itself. No, you actually, you have to get, get into system updates, but um, it will update to the Android 4.3 uh, from the initial shift 4.2. And that's a good thing, updating is a very good thing. And overall, the Android itself is a very stock likely. It's almost as pure as the Google's reference Android. And um, the performance itself is actually pretty good, but maybe I expected a bit more than pretty good from the Tegra 4 because they have been claiming that the Nvidia Tegra 4 is is not one of the, but the best processor in the mobile world. And uh, it doesn't perform as smooth as I want it to be. And But the, don't worry about the benchmark scores, but because they actually do show a pretty decent score of 34,000 points from Antutu. That's good, but um, it's not as smooth as I want. That, it's just a thing. And um, the cameras <clears throat> on the back, that's um, this guy, five megapixel camera, has one of the worst photo quality that I've ever seen. And the front facing camera over there has not only one of the worst, but I, I think it's got the, the worst photo quality I've ever seen on the tablet. Uh, alrighty, that being said, this guy overall has um, some interesting features, like this pen, and um, it initially comes with two uh, direct sightless applications, that is Tegra Draw and Write. And when people say that Google is more of an engineer-oriented company and they don't have like, you know, styles and fashions, don't try to mention Google as the best example, because Nvidia is actually the one with the worst kind of design ideas. And um, those apps are just there to serve their purposes. They do not work as fancy nor uh, in an easy user-likely interface, but they are just there to serve for their feature. Uh, it does have some uh, interesting thing is like you tap on there and it will ignore, hmm. It's supposed to ignore your uh, stylus inputs. I, I think I've modded the preferences wrong, but anyway. It, blocks the, all the other inputs other than the stylus, and uh, that's a good thing. And there's an also this thingy called the lasso tool, so you can try kind of like capture a portion of the snapshot and write on it and send it directly to someone else or just store it in your storage. And that's a very interesting feature that we've seen with the devices equipped with the stylus like this. But maybe I expected a bit more on the stylus. This is more, this is a bit more than the rubber beam styluses that we've seen in the LG Optimus views and source. I didn't expect Wacom. 
I, but I did expect a good of a stylus like the Entrick, but um, this is not exactly to my standards, but having a stylus is better than having nothing. So that's a good thing. And um, the thing about the Tegra Note 7, Tegra Note, is that um, I, I honestly don't know who this guy is for. Uh, for all right, let's start with the display because the display itself isn't really good. The the color reproduction isn't good. The viewing angle is just about the par, and the the all the pixel details. I'm not talking the resolution itself. I've seen better panels on the 720p than this guy, and the display itself is not good. And the speaker that Nvidia has probably uh, presented with their whatever pure audio technology isn't so good. It doesn't have any bass. I'm not expecting a good speaker like the iPad Airs, but um, it's not too up to my standards. It does its job, but it's not great. It's just good. It's just acceptable. And the cameras, as I already mentioned, are one of the worst cameras I've ever seen on a tablet. Um, the battery performance is actually pretty good, but um, the, I don't think that's the true selling point right here. I think the way they NVIDIA intended is that since it's got an NVIDIA Tegra 4, the late, one of their uh, latest processors, it, it should have the ultimate performance. And um, I don't see any, in any way this is any smoother or, or even faster than the Snapdragons that are usually uh, adopted on the modern tablets. So that being said, I, I don't know where this guy suits into. For multimedia, display, camera, audio, and everything. Oh, and plus the the audio quality through that 3.5 millimeter headphone jack is the worst I've ever heard on a tablet, except for those Chinese fakes. And um, so audio quality is bad, display is bad, and the performance isn't as smooth. And it's not like insanely cheap because we have seen those nexuses on the same uh, on the similar price points which have far better display with the far better uh, the software supports and the far better uh, plastic finishes so i don't know where this guy sits uh sits at this isn't bad this is acceptable this isn't like a terrible tablet or anything but i don't see a single reason why you should choose tegra note over other great tablets on the Android arena, especially in the modern age like 2014. So that was Tegra Note 7, uh, Tegra Note, and um, I'm, I don't know, I'm, I'm sorry Tegra, just, just not my thing. So that was Tegra, and uh, don't forget to tap on there to subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys in the other follow-up reviews. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.